Well, I think that my work takes something that's complicated, the opioid crisis, uh, and it makes it understandable for a lot of people. Just the fact that Drexel's in the city made it appealing because the city is full of life and, and fascinating. And, you know, as a photographer who wants to explore, uh, it was, I mean, it was everything I needed. I chose to be ambitious because the program was set up that way. It was set up in a way that I knew that I would get more out of it if I was. They gave you a lot of opportunity to grow, to go above and beyond just what the assignment was. I mean, that was one of the best parts about it, having, having freedom. Kensington Blues is a project that um, you know, grew out of a, an earlier body of work. When I was a senior at Drexel, I was photographing interiors of abandoned houses around Philly. But I would always meet people, and the people that I met, they were fascinating. And all I had to do was start talking to them to realize that. I think I learned a lot about myself, and I think I learned a lot about just people in general. I think ultimately my work is about human qualities and relating to each other on a fundamentally human level. People, all people, want to share their story. They, they, they want to be heard, they want to be remembered, they want to be loved. A very important image for this project, it's Tic Tac and Tootsie. I mean, it's, a, it's a photograph of 20-year-old twin sisters who are homeless, living on the street in Kensington. It's a pretty powerful picture. They're twin sisters, you know? You think about dualities, that's what the whole photograph is about. It's about dualities, it's about life and death. Know, strength and weakness, survival, ultimately. And how these two girls who are in the same situation are coping with it. Shelly in the photograph is super hunched over and she looks beaten down, but her sister Carol has this like little Mona Lisa smile. Like, she, like you, you get a sense of strength from her, like she's gonna survive. I know that it's helped a lot of people I've photographed because now many of them have gotten clean and they've come out and they, they, they don't have a ton of guilt or shame about what they've been through. They own up to it, they talk about it, they move forward. They don't let their past decide their future. I think that art is extremely effective in communicating the humanity behind things, in kind of rallying public support for ideas and issues that matter. I think it's just the act of storytelling in general is probably one of society's most powerful tools to create social change. Totally part of the plan to affect social change, to try to make the world a better place.